Welcome back to Rockford Ice Sox TV. Joseph Zakszewski with the agenda alongside head coach Jeremy Collin for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game as the Ice Sox squaring off against the Cleveland Monsters here this evening. And coach, crucial time of year right now. You're taking on a team that is trying to play the role of spoiler a little bit. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a nice stretch of home games for you, but how do you start things off on the right foot here tonight? Yeah, we're excited. It's a chance to play three in a, three in a row at home. I think we've been playing pretty well. Um, you know, we haven't got the results over the last couple of games, but I think that level of performance will bring us points. I think um, you know, we got the power play going. I think PK has been better lately. Uh, we've been good five on five all year. So that's a pretty good recipe uh, for success. I think what, you know, the danger you have sometimes where you play well and you don't get results is uh, then there's a, maybe there can be a drop off. That's where you get in trouble. So I think as long as we have uh, you know continue to string together good efforts, then uh, I'm totally confident we'll we'll get results. And you know, we really like the group we have. We're at home tonight um, against a team that we feel probably we should have more points against than we do. So uh, we'll focus on the start. We'll we'll be excited about it and. I think that'll set us up really well to to uh, have success tonight. And how do you keep that mindset for this young group to, to keep pushing forward and keep looking for and striving for those results? Because you've been playing good hockey, as you've mentioned, in the last couple of games, you're just not getting the points that you need. So how do you keep that message to, to sink in? Yeah, well, I think that's where hopefully you've been focusing on process all year long. So, um, you know, even when you're winning, you can't, be so worried about the results. The results are the results. And um, sometimes there's some randomness and, and luck and circumstances that, that play a part. What isn't luck is how you play. And uh, so I don't think it's a new message that we're delivering to these guys that if, if we play a certain way and as a group we got it, you know, that work ethic and, and intensity and attention to detail on uh, the things we feel we need to do to have success, then we will get our, our results. Um, so I don't really worry about it. I think it's easy because it's, it's the same message we've been preaching all year about how we have to play to, to win and how individually the players have to play to, to develop and hopefully become uh, guys who can play at the next level. Tonight starts a three-game homestand for the Rockford Ice Hogs. They'll have Cleveland tonight, but then again on Saturday and then into the weekend on Sunday against San Antonio. You look at the schedule ahead, the month of March, pretty much on the road, and I know home ice has played a major factor to your success, just the comfortability that you have in this building here at BMO. I mean, how important is it to, to take advantage of this weekend? Because after this weekend, it's going to be a, a lot of road trips coming up. Yeah, we, we want to get points here for sure, and I think we've been good. We we've, uh, have pretty good results in this, this rink. So it's a great opportunity. I don't look at it as, uh, oh, if we don't, don't uh, run the table here, we're in trouble. I don't think that's the case at all. We've shown we can win on the road. I think uh, in the beginning of the year, it's more so uh, we didn't quite have the formula yet as a group for how we're going to have success as a road team. But I think uh, sort of in January, kind of starting with that, that trip out west to California, we, we have a better understanding of what it takes to win on the road. So I, I don't think we're going to have trouble getting results. Um, certainly we recognize the opportunity this week has. We want to get our points. It's more about how we play. And if we play good, then we'll get whatever. You know, the, the results are what the results are. You didn't touch upon it earlier about this Cleveland Monsters team, a team you felt like you should have more points against than what you do. I mean, this is a team that's been hot or cold, but as you as we've talked about it, they're kind of playing the role of spoiler towards the bottom of the Central Division. But they have the Broadhurst brothers. Dalpy's been playing well. Some timely goaltending. I mean, how do you crack through to this Cleveland team to take advantage? Because tonight and Saturday are the last times you'll see them. Yeah, they played us hard, and to their credit, I think they've they've uh, they've had some good games against us and made it difficult for us. Um, I think we've been our own worst enemy at times. You know, there's a couple of games here where they didn't cross the red line and, and yet we're down. And, uh, you know, that, <laughs> that's, uh, that's tough. And you can, we can blame inexperience or whatever it may be. That's fine. But the time for those lessons is over. We can't be learning any more of those lessons. We got to uh, not be giving away freebies. And uh, we do that, then, I, you know, I feel like we're going to win the game. But, um, 
it's important that we start on time tonight. And defensively, we recognize uh, we've got to finish, finish every situation, sort and, sorting their, their attacks and sorting defensive zone coverage and um, managing the puck. Those little things that, you know, they, they make you tough to score on. They, they make you difficult to play against. We need to do that, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll generate enough. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Head Coach Jeremy Collin joining us here for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game. We'll be back with more. You're watching Rockford Ice Hawks Hockey on the Ice Hawks Broadcast Network.